All right, guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Today we are tackling this cart. This is my basic general all around cart. Hi, Dubby. It has paint brushes, paints, glue, tools, markers, glue sticks. It's all the stuff that I utilize on a daily basis when crafting and it is a disaster. Holidays are over, it is time to organize. So the first step is we're taking everything off and sorting it by type. I have that. no idea how all of this stuff, that's trash, came out of this little cart. So if you can see, I took the eight buckets off that I have and they're washed and downstairs drying. And now what I am going to do do once I get them I have some empty containers here and the Dollar Tree buckets that we got this year fit in here perfectly two side by side so on the bottom I think I'll do tools tape stuff like that that I don't get into off every day and then up on this one I may put things you know more like my glues and stuff like that and in the top some of the tools that I use all the time and off the sides will be, you know, the same stuff. Glue sticks for sure. Probably the marker, scissors, but I'll separate the scissors out with what I use for um, paper crafting and what I use for fabric crafting. And then behind it, you can see I moved some stuff back here. That is my sewing box and that right here is all my Cricut vinyl that needs to be tidied up and this shelf needs to be tidied and my heater vacuum and that's my Cricut and my sewing machine so this is part of the room you guys don't really see too often but this mess needs to be dealt with quickly today all right let's get to organize all right I have my cart all organized and I will go over each layer with you and show you how I use Dollar Tree items to organize and tidy up this cart. I know it doesn't look 100% better, but it sure feels better. <laughs> and that, my friends, ooh, I'll get a better picture of it. All right, we're down here on the bottom, and these new buckets that they came out with this year are perfect. Guys, you can fit two in your tier cart side by side. They fit absolutely perfectly in there, and they hold a lot of stuff. So in here, I have um, all my like tape. So sticky tabs and tapes and tape rollers and pa painter's tape, masking tape, duct tape, all in there. So all my sticker tapes. In here, I have a bunch of, oops, some tools at the bottom, foam paint brushes and some paint markers, just kind of a miscellaneous of my tools that I use, but not all the time. So these tools are I would reach for if I'm doing a larger project, like some zip ties, things like that. Now this is an older Dollar Tree container, but it's definitely still around. And in here I have sandpaper, rubber gloves, again, rubber bands, things I utilize, but I'm not reaching for every time I do a craft project. So that fits right on top. And then over here I have um, a corner square from the Dollar Tree. Now the next up, these are also new this year and they fit perfect in here. I'm so excited. They're um, squeezable and they do come in the same colors and they fit perfect. Like there is very little room front to back. And so what I've done is I put all my glue in here, Goo Gone, spray adhesive, uh, Mod Podge and all my glues. And then over here is just kind of a catch all I have the back there in the corner is the lightweight spackle. These craft rounds are perfect for using with rubbing alcohol or these uh, cotton rounds. I have these storage bags from the Dollar Tree and chalk. Again, for different projects. And then next to it, I have my glue gun. So I have my big glue gun, a little glue gun, the Dollar Tree glue gun over there. And then behind it, this is not from the Dollar Tree. I don't remember where I got these, but they hold the big clamps. And I have 
several of them. I think I have eight of these big clamps and they're great when you're gluing things together. Oh, sorry about that. Um, these buckets came from Ikea and I have push pins over here and just some coasters. Up here on this side, I have, this is my sewing scissors. So my nips, rotary cutters, and these little nippers, these are all for sewing. And then this is all craft scissors, little pairs and rotaries. This is all craft scissors over here. Now, I also got these little containers at the Dollar Tree and they are perfect up here to sort things like glue sticks. Up here, I've got floral wire, some staples, some little tiny scissors, just little things. Over here, more glue, glue rollers. I got this at the Dollar Tree, it works really well. Glue spray. And then over here is more like E6000 type super glues. And these are great. They were in the Halloween section at the Dollar Tree, but I use them to transfer fluids around. I have my little paint cups. And then on this one, all of this is Cricut supplies and pencils. So I have a couple pencils in here and a nail file that I use, but the rest of this is Cricut supplies. Over here, I have just some tools that I do use all the time when I'm hot gluing, razor blades, metal nippers, some, um, a couple crochet hooks that need to be put away. And then in here, these are all jewelry tools, but it's like needle nose pliers and things. I use those all the time as well. I have my paint brushes up here and I just leave them. And this was from Target Dollar Spot. And then over here, this is also from Target Dollar Spot, but it holds all of my small clamps. So mostly when I'm doing little crafting, I use these. And I use these a lot. I have several packages because I do use them. And then I store my staple gun just right there. All right, now on this side of the cart, in here, these are Dollar Tree glue sticks and uh, for my big glue gun, but these are all Dollar Tree sticks, which I use if I'm not using, doing something crazy. If I really want a good stick, these are the large glue sticks and these are um, the Gorilla. So I keep them separate so I know these are my gorillas. These are just every day. And then down here, hanging off my two carts, I have paint pens. So these are all colored paint pens. And if you don't know, you should store your pens and markers upside down. It keeps the ink from settling. And then over here is all black, silver, gold. So my metallics and white. White, black, and metallic that I reach for pretty much the most. And that is it, guys. That is my whole crafter's cart and a box of tissue. All, oh, I can't get it all in. Let me get a better angle. Ah, much better. So this right here is my crafter's cart with all of my Dollar Tree hacks to make it organized and keep all the things that I use pretty fair, pretty regularly at hand's reach. I don't need to store this stuff away. I need it to be able to get to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and this gives you some ideas on what you can do to organize your craft space. And please don't worry, I've got more organizing coming up.